Hello and welcome back. Let's play Medieval 2 Total War, the English Campaign, Part 33. Last time we left off, we uh, took our troops out of Adana, down to Antioch, where they're besieging it right now. And up here, my assassin continued on his killing spree, killing merchants, killing princesses, killing anybody he does not like the look of. Look at me in the wrong way, and you'll be sorry. So, we'll continue our turn. Oh my god, the Turks have just been repelled by a bunch of rebels! Quite amusing. Maybe these rebels here are quite, not as quite, not quite as <laughs> weak as we first thought. Sire. You are brave to seek an audience with us like this. Hmm. Now, Lawrence Bidell has failed in every attempt to bribe any settlement. Could not bribe the Venetians, could not bribe the rebels at Antioch, could not bribe the Egyptians at Acre. Can he bribe the rebels at Aleppo? We must decline this you speak of, Sadiq. No, is the answer to that. Very well. Mars Alama. Mars Alama, indeed. Okay. So before, oh look at this! Harold has come of age. Bless his little cotton stockings. Where is he? Mars alarm. <laughs> okay, Harold, where are you? Where are you? Oh, he is in Khan. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Something quite disturbing is happening right now. Let me check my DBS. Uh, I can't speak. I'm getting too flustered here. <clears throat> now, our relations are very good with the Danes, but for some reason they have uh, two large armies marching towards Khan, and this is quite unnerving, really. Are they planning to backstab us here? We shall honour the alliance. They've only got town militia, so the army is, although it's large in number, in quality, it's a pile of crap. But still, is this a sign of war? Hail there, noble ally! Yeah, you say noble ally now, but what are you plotting? We have three generals in the city, decent number of troops, a decent number of archers, and it's a fortress. It will take a mammoth effort for them to, to take it, so I'm not at all worried, really. But I'm quite concerned as to why they're in my lands. You do not ask permission? And therefore, this is an act of treachery. Right. Just double check everything else is fine here. Yep, nope, Nottingham. Archery range, please. Oh my god, how expensive is that? 4,800 for an archery range. Ooh. I'm gonna have to really uh, tighten these purse yes, strings. God's service. A two piety priest, not the, not the best of priests, but oh well. Right, we'll have to keep an eye on this situation. It's not quite to my liking, I'm afraid. Very, very cheeky, 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 cheeky. Okay. Will the Danes attack? Yeah. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Remember the last part when I was about to say something and then the priest died and then I forgot what I was going to say. I've just remembered. Um. Yeah, there's going to be a, an opportunity for you guys once again to shape the campaign. Um, not quite yet, but uh, when I get my uh, army from Nottingham up to full strength, yeoman archers, feudal knights, armoured swords and dismounted feudal knights, we are going to uh, ask the question regarding excommunication. Should we risk attacking the French? Interesting. I mean, this Pope's going to die soon. We still have an English... Cardinal. Yes, Majesty. Although he's pretty much dead. <laughs> he's probably in a Zimmer frame as we speak. Anyway, we now have the opportunity yes, no, to attack will, my king, Antioch. To and attack Antioch. Uh, attack Antioch. Attack Antioch we shall. Fingers crossed, folks. Could this be settlement number two in the Middle East? Oh my god, this is a piece of cake. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Now see, when the battle's this easy, strength of 5 to 1 yet again, 
it's just, again, another bit exercise where do I need to fight this on the battle map? Now, I'll ask you people now, because, as I say, I'm doing this Let's Play for you, uh, and we're going to give you the opportunity to, to air your views. Do you want me to battle, fight every battle? Carry on as I am doing, fighting the, piv the, the most pivotal battles and just auto-resolving the straightforward ones. You know, what's your take on that? Because I would usually auto-resolve this battle because its army ratio is 5 to 1. I hate siege battles anyway, so it's, I don't mind skipping when it's so easy. If it was more like 3 to 1, I would definitely fight it. But I don't have any ballistas, so getting siege towers to the wall, ramming down the gates, it's all a hassle. Um, but if you want to see that, even if it is an easy battle, then let me know. I am going to auto-resolve this one because it's what I've been doing in the past, and I'm just going to continue in the same vein. But if anyone's got any uh, adverse feelings to this, and they want to see me battle these easy battles, just for the sake of having uh, a bit more viewing, maybe, to make it more exciting, rather than having a ten parts of campaign map, just mixing it up with a bit of a battle in between, you know, let me know. <coughs> I imagine at some stage in the future of this game, when we start getting into the heat of battle with France, there's going to be plenty of battles to go around, so although it seems as if the battles are few and far between now, believe me, there will be some pivotal battles to come. So, uh, I'm trying to balance the speed of the campaign with the excitement, in a way. Um, so let me know, basically what I'm trying to say in a nutshell. Let me know if you want to see every battle, or continue as I am doing, with... Uh, auto resolving the most of the straightforward ones. So I'll auto resolve this one. And as you can see, we only lost eighty nine men. It was so easy to take this settlement. It was hardly worth wasting my breath. Triumphed. God be praised. Oh! He has granted us victory. <laughs> and this is why we sack settlement. Seven thousand one hundred and forty four florins. We are killing nineteen hundred of the populace. But hey, the settlement must be large. Must be about 8,000 people in there. A slight hit won't hurt. But it has uh, ticked them off a little bit. 2,500 florins from the Council of Nobles. 7,000 from the looting. All in all, adds up to a rather successful uh, capture. We'll take the uh, tax rate down for the time being. Repair the damage we've co the damage that we've caused, of course. Uh, we'll build a church because churches come first, and then we'll look at expanding Antioch. I mean, look to say it's a minor city. They don't even have a port yet. They don't even have a grain exchange. They don't even have roads. They don't even have farming. Eight thousand people, and they don't have basic amenities. No wonder they're in a state of disrepair and revolt. Blue my neck. They're living like peasants. Right. Well done, Antia. Well done, Prince Lawrence. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go oh can 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 can. Yeah. Or call, as it's pronounced I think in French. We can construct something else here. Right, we'll start with the Baron's stables, I imagine. Yes we will. Right, let's advance the third and see what the Danes do next. Ah. No. Oh. no, I don't want to. Oh, maybe I might have. Oh, I don't know. Where are we going, sorry? V Vilnius? Ah! <laughs> well, there's a turn up for the old books. You guys have got an opportunity to shape my campaign far sooner than I thought. There is another crusade, this time against Vilnius. Bearing in mind the Pope is 61 and prone to keeling over any moment. Um, we'll see what happens. Oh! Boulder Dash! I've lost my Cardinal. I've lost my only chance to become an English Pope. And there's a... The Pope wants me to go all the way over here to kill a heathen. This is not my land. Or does he want me to execute him? Send my assassin over. Do you know what? This is all g getting far too uh, overwhelming. Oh my god. Somebody else has died. Somebody else has died. Oh, he's died. We know he's died. 
Oh my god, new mission, new mission, new mission, crusade, richest faction, largest faction, end of Ted report, we're all in the green there, and the crusade. The Holy Bible. Yes, the Holy Bible calls a crusade. Join me again next time when we shall take stock of what's happened and try to get our brain in order.